Come on, everybody. We will sing and shout. We will sing and shout. Open up our hearts and pour your praises out. We will sing and shout. We will sing and shout. Open up our hearts and pour your praises out. Shout! Hey everybody, I'm Miss Jan. I want to welcome you to Bethel's Junior Worship at Home. Over the past couple of weeks, we've talked about children who met Jesus and were healed by Jesus. We said that Jesus loves his children and always wants to help them. But in today's story, we're going to meet a little boy who helps Jesus. I wonder what he's going to do. Let's find out. We find today's story in the New Testament in the book of John, chapter 6. And because it comes from God's Word, the Bible, we know that it is totally true. So do you have on your very best listening ears? Then let's get ready to meet this week's Child of the Bible. All right, so today we need some grass because this is a grassy place. So let's go ahead and spread out our grass. Okay. And we have a hilltop. So we'll put our hill right here. And up on top of that hill, we have Jesus. Now, if Jesus is there, his disciples are probably close by. So I want you to count with me. And let's see how many disciples he has. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12, 12 disciples. So on a sunny day, Jesus gathers his disciples together on a grassy hilltop and begins to teach them about God, about his love. And the disciples huddle close together because they want to hear every word. They don't want to miss anything. But word has spread that Jesus is here, and so people begin to appear. So we're going to have this man join them and this woman. At first it's just a few people, but then more and more people come. So let's put a man over here and a woman and let's put a little boy right here. They all want to hear what Jesus has to say. Everybody knows about the stories Jesus tells and about the miracles he does. And these people are hoping just maybe they'll be able to see a miracle today too. But more and more and more people keep coming. So we're going to pretend that these clothespins are all people who have come to see Jesus. Oh my, look at all these people. And we have more, and more, and more people who are coming. Look at all the people. Well, Jesus looks out at the crowd, and he loved them. And he began to teach them about God about his love and his forgiveness. And he, he taught them about the best ways to live. Well, lunchtime came, and Jesus kept right on teaching. Afternoon nap time came, and Jesus kept right on teaching. Finally, as the dinner hour got near, Jesus called his disciples and said, These people have been with us all day long. They have to be really hungry by now. You need to feed them. What? Well, the disciples try to get a quick head count. One, two, three, four. Why, there are over 5,000 people here, says Philip, one of the disciples. How are we supposed to feed all these people? Even if we put all of our money together, we couldn't buy enough for these people. And where would we get it? There's no place to buy food. So Jesus tells the disciples to see what they can find. Well, at first the disciples think Jesus is kidding. 
But then they can see by that seriously concerned face that he really does expect them to feed the crowd. So let's head out there and see what we can find. Okay, well, I'll go this way, and I'll go this way, and you go over here, and you go over here. Well, one of the disciples, whose name was Andrew, found a little boy, and the little boy had a little lunch basket. And so he asked the little boy what was inside. And so the boy proudly showed him that he had, let's see if we can get it out here now, he had one, two, three, four, five little loaves of bread, and two little fish. The boy was very proud of his lunch. Well, this didn't seem like much at all, but still, Andrew brought the little boy to Jesus. And he told Jesus that the little boy had a very little lunch. If it will help, I will be glad to share my lunch, said the little boy. And Jesus smiled at him and thanked him. And he told the disciples, tell everybody to sit down. Dinner is about to be served. What? Well, Jesus took the little boy's very little lunch, and he looked up to heaven, and he thanked God for giving us good food to eat. And then he winked at the little boy. Now, I'm going to wink at you. I want you to wink at me. Are you ready? Jesus is up to something. And so Jesus took the little lunch, and he began to break it into pieces, and he told the disciples to start passing out dinner. And so they started to hand out the dinner. Well, here's some for you, and here's some for you. Oh, you need some over here, some more, here's some more. Oh, here's some more, here's some more. And the food just kept coming and coming and coming. There was so much food that everybody ate and ate and ate. The little boy laughed to see everybody enjoying his now great big lunch. And his mother was so proud of him for sharing and so amazed at what Jesus was doing. Well, the people ate until they couldn't eat another bite. They were stuffed. But still, there was food left. So Jesus told the disciples to pick it all up. We don't want to waste anything. And when they were done, they had 12 baskets full of leftovers. Why, that's one for each disciple. Do you think the little boy was happy when he crawled into bed that night? It makes us feel so good when we can help someone. The little boy didn't have much to give Jesus, but Jesus sure used what the little boy gave him. So the question is, what do you have that you can give to Jesus? What gift, what talent, what can you do? Jesus will use it to bless others just like he used that little boy's lunch. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for wanting to use us to bless other people. Help us give you our gifts, our talents, and all that we are. Please use us like you use that little boy. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, everybody. Let's do our closing rhyme. The wind tells me, the birds tell me, the Bible tells me too, how much our Father loves us all, and now I'm telling you. You have a great week, and I'll see you next time for another totally true story from God's Word, the Bible.